what more do we know about this announcement at this stage? Well, Bell, on Wednesday, on the same day that a Syrian man was charged with the killing of a German Cuban man in the, the East German city of Chemnitz back in August, a separate court in the East city of Dresden announced that it is now officially uh, surveilling the activities of the populist group Pro Chemnitz, um, which is believed to have been involved in and behind and organised uh, many of the large scale xenophobic protests that took place in Chemnitz following the murder. Now the court believes that pro Chemnitz was using uh, it, criticism of the German government's asylum policy as an excuse to spread its extremist right-wing ideology which the court believes threatens the democratic principles enshrined in the German constitution. Now pro Chemnitz is a, is a populist movement which started in the eastern German city back in 2009 but following uh, the murder in Chemnitz in August they uh, managed to drum up a lot of support for these protests which um, became very violent in parts there were attacks on restaurants owned by foreigners and uh, many members of the group are known to have links to the far-right extremist scene uh, well, you said that you mentioned the level of support just how much uh, public support does this pro Chemnitz group have well, Pro Chemnitz is still ultimately a small populist group, which uh, just has a, a support of around a few thousand people in its local municipality. But I think the concerns of the court and also of the German government is at a time when migration remains such a contentious issue in Europe. And of course, in the age of social media, that populist groups such as this will be able to drum up a lot of support and make links to similar groups online. Um, and and this, of course, is why the court wants to monitor very closely this group's activities. Um, so I think we'll see a lot more uh, monitoring of similar groups as such as this, especially in eastern Germany, where there's been a lot of concern over the proliferation of far-right anti-migrant groups and movements. Uh, eastern German states is where the alternative for Germany has really now got its stronghold. Uh, eastern German states still lag behind western uh, states economically and a lot of people there feel disenfranchised and this is something which the populist party has really managed to capitalize on and the German government and centrist parties here are very very nervous about this this year in 2019 where we're going to see state elections in the states of Thuringia, Saxony where Chemnitz is and also Brandenburg where the alternative for Germany is set to do very well so uh, other political parties really at the moment deciding on how they're going to position themselves in these elections in opposition to the AFD.